we've been doing this series of we've got new districts from after UIL realignment uh, in all the classifications. We've got new districts. And perhaps no classification underwent a bigger makeover than Class 5A. Now, there's always transitioning in Class 5A because that's the first, that's the largest classification that there's move ups and drop downs. So you've got Class 5A, you've got some teams that are dropping down from 6A down to 5A. You've also got some teams that are moving up from 4A up to 5A. But the bigger headline is the division split is that you are then, we're, we're taking the class 5A, we're splitting it in half, and the larger schools are Division one, the, large, the smaller schools are Division two. So we've got 32 new districts, but they're not all created equal. And so, as I mentioned yesterday, I want to go through the top five toughest districts in class 5A based on their last five years' computer rankings from our friend Jerry Forrest. Mm -hmm. um, we've taken together the, the last five years of, of, their, of their ratings, We've averaged all those teams out into a five-year average, and then we've taken the teams in the district, and we've averaged that. And we've seen who has the tough, what are the toughest districts in the state. And I'll tell you that whereas last, yesterday with Class 6A, I think there's a lot of them you could be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's, that's the one. That's, that's what you're talking about. In 5A, I think there are going to be a couple surprises. Yeah. Let's start with number five. The fifth right. toughest district in Class 5A. District... Three five A Division Two. Here's a spoiler. This is the only Division Two. Um, this is the highest ranked Division Two district. This is the toughest div district in Division Two, and I think it's easy to see why. First of all, you have the drop down. You have mm -hmm. Abilene Wiley, which is a legitimate, or the move up rather, a legitimate four A Division One power, yep. a team that played for a title in 2016, making the leap up to Class Five A, and they're in it. With a group of teams that I think can all really challenge them. Canyon Randall, Lubbock Cooper, the Wichita Falls schools, although they've fallen on a little bit of hard times recently, and then even Plainview. Yeah. I don't think there's a real stinker in this district. Right. That's the thing, is that from top to bottom, I think you've got a lot of teams, You know, especially at the top, those top four teams, I would say Wiley, Randall, Cooper, and Ryder. Those are teams that you can put up against any other team in Division Two and say that's a really tough foursome right there. And so, three five A Division Two is the fifth toughest district in Tech in five A and the number one toughest district in Division Two, and that's very interesting to me. Now, here's a big surprise: the fourth toughest district in Texas, District One five A Division One. That's right. El Paso, Texas, stand up. Yeah. But I will tell you, and I understand that there are people who be like, El Paso? Why would it be El Paso? I think you can make a real argument that at any level, five of the eight best El Paso teams are mm -hmm. in this district. Yeah. First of all, you have two drop downs. You have two drop downs from 6A in El Dorado and Eastwood, who were, by the way, Excellent last yeah. year. Yeah. They join Del Valle, yeah. who was excellent last year. They join Eastlake, who was excellent last year. And they join Chapin, which had a tough year. But very consistent but program. But it's a consistently yeah. excellent yeah. El Paso yeah. program. The only team there that, that you don't necessarily worry about is Bel Air. They've been they've fallen on hard times. But this is a district that I think that because because of the division split. Mm -hmm. This is this made it very very difficult. One five A Division One is from top to bottom one of the toughest districts in Texas, and you've got I think five teams in El Dorado, Eastwood, Del Valle, Eastlake, and Chapin that are going to beat the tar out of each other. That is a very very tough district. District One five A Division One, the fourth toughest district in Class Five A. The third toughest district in Class Five A. District 75A Division 1. This is the East Texas East Dallas district. Specifically, it's John Tyler dropping down. Yep. You've got John Tyler dropping down and this has been, you know, I know that they haven't gotten as far as they want to go, but John Tyler is a consistently excellent program. They are joining teams like Mesquite Poteet, tough. Very tough. Yep. Wiley East, I know they're getting a new coach, but very difficult. Yep. Texas High this is going to be really tough. McKinney North, yeah. even Lump in West Mesquite into that. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Sherman's a team that's been down but has such a great pedigree and, and I think is on the way up. You saw that last year. 
that this district, 75A Division One, is extremely difficult and is the kind of thing that I think starts. You, it, it, you're you obviously going to start with the 6A drop down. They're going to be the team to, to beat. But do not sleep on the rest of that district because Poteet, Wiley East, Texas High, McKinney North, West Mesquite, all very dangerous. 75A Division One is, I think, one of the very toughest team districts in all of Texas. A lot of travel, too. Yeah. A lot of travel, too. Um, you know, you're talking about Sherman. Sherman to Tyler is yeah. a long yeah. distance. Yeah. yeah. So when Texarkana. people talk about Ooh. Yeah. And so, you know, with the 5A split, you're seeing a lot more travel yeah. because of this. Yeah. And Sherman to Tyler is a perfect example of that. That's the third toughest district in Texas in 5A. Barely. By the way, these top three are all decided by, like, decimal points. Yeah. The second toughest district in 5A. District... 11 5A Division 1. This is the Cedar Park District, okay? This is down there in Central Texas. You're getting see, you're getting four teams that are or five teams that are used to seeing each other. Cedar Park, Georgetown, yeah. Hutto, Leander Rouse, uh, and Pflugerville Connolly. Those are no surprises. Those were teams that have been lumped together and by the way have helped to form one of the toughest districts in Texas. Yep. Cedar Park is obviously excellent. Georgetown is one of those programs you forget about, that how good they are. Yep. Hutto, obviously, a tremendous year this past year, which has really boosted them. Leander Rouse uh, has had a, a tough couple of years, but this is a program that has some pedigree. And then you're adding two 6A dropdowns. You're adding Mayner, who, has had, who had a tough year this year, uh, the same with Pflugerville, tough year this year, but have a pedigree of being tough outs. Right. And so when you look top to bottom, for me, you've got six teams at least. I would kind of count out Fleurville Connolly. They've, they're probably the, the outlier in this. Yeah. But six teams that are all very dangerous, not to mention two teams at the very top with Cedar Park and Georgetown that are state-level contenders. They're bell cows. They're teams that you can count on. That is the second toughest district in Texas. And so you're asking yourself, well, self, what could be? the toughest t- team district in Class 5A. I'd like to congratulate our viewer, Alonzo Robles, for guessing this before you even started. Did he? Yeah. Go look at his comment. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> the toughest district in Class 5A is District 10-5A, Division One, and holy cannoli. This is tough, man. This is tough. So it's like they took three tough districts... <laughs> And they smooshed them together. Yeah. So you could take the two best teams from last year's District 27 5A, okay? In Richmond Foster yep. and Angleton. Yep. Okay? You put those together. Not to mention, by the way, Rosenberg Terry, who, tough year last year, but up can, can you know, yep. we know has some pedigree. Then you took Texas City and Galveston Ball, who had, by the way, a, a, you know, a better year than you think last year. You have them. And then you add two 6A dropdowns and not two 6A pushovers. Right. You add Fort Bend Hightower yeah. and Friendswood. Yeah, those are tough. If you are Alvin Shadow Creek, yeah. okay, and you're the new program on the block, hey, guys, just wanted to see what this whole Texas high school football thing's all about. Wow, this is neat. We're in a district. Oh, God. No. They, <laughs> like... <laughs> oh my God, Alvin Shadow Creek to be put into that. Dis- and look, we've seen new programs do big things early in their early in their football life. Yeah. Oh my God, I don't know if a new school has ever entered a district this tough. I'm going to be entirely honest. Yeah, it's tough. This, it's... I mean, you have, I think, no fewer than four bona fide. Yeah. State semifinal contenders, yeah. like regional yeah. final. Yeah. And you've got a you got programs like Rosenberg Terry who. Great history, Who we right? We know they have history. Really good, and and they're at the bottom of this. It's it's very tough for yeah. them now. I you mean, know? it is a murderer's row in District Ten, Five A Division. And don't worry, Sean, our our Manville friend. We know Shadow Creek's going to be good. Right? Oh, they've just been. This is the worst hand you can be dealt. It is. We, Shadow Creek, we know, is going to carve a, a lot into Manville. It's going to take a lot of the good players from Manville, and and, and it's going to well, yeah. it, it's going to be and Alvin too. Shadow Creek's going to be good. This is your first warning, and yes. and I, and I know our friend Sean is on top of it. That, but it would have been nice to start with a little bit easier. Yeah, district. it would have been nice to you know <laughs> maybe ease into it a little bit. This ain't easing into it. This is yeah. into the fire. It's they're yeah. going to get tested every single week. We'll learn a lot about them quick. Program. Yeah, yes. it is 
It is that is the toughest district in 5A in 10 5A Division One. And if you're a new school, if you get put in the toughest district in Texas, yeah, oopsie doodles. Yeah, that's that's tough. It's very tough. So that is our countdown of the five toughest districts in Class 5A. Tomorrow we're doing a big signing day show, but then on Thursday we will do the full five toughest districts in Class 4A. 4A. Yeah. So you can tune in for that.